Hey bunnies, welcome to another Naked Sunday video. Before we begin, go ahead and grab yourself a drink. What I'm drinking is rum runner. I actually already started drinking. I was thirsty. <laughs> so I poured myself a glass and what this one is called is Mango Sunrise. And in it, it has, I, I don't remember, hold on. So in Mango Sunrise, we have mango, coconut, orange juice, and cranberry juice boom and it tastes really really nice and sweet so go ahead grab your drink and come back and let's talk on my instagram page we say this all the time i make these polls and i make these videos based on the polls i really hope i didn't make a video on this already i really hope so because while i was making um i created a uh what's it called the story on my page itself the the highlights for all the polls so if you want to see past polls go ahead and see how other people voted and so you can you know be caught up in current polls anyways so while i was doing it i completely forgot about this one this tastes like ice cream i forgot about this one that i did i, I want to say maybe like six weeks ago something like that and it said real men suck toes eat pussy eat ass and bite booty cheeks my thing was it's all good in my house how about y'all? And 67% of you said facts and 33% of you <laughs> said nah girl. And in those nah girl were guys. This actually surprised me. For the girls, you know, I kind of understand because your man might not. Well, then yeah, does. So the men shouldn't be surprising. But then it's like, why aren't you doing these things? Anyway, so this is the point of the video being open in your relationship and exploring and being able to be free sexually and do the things that you want to do with your partner now another reason why this came up is because the other night my husband and i we had a little tryst <laughs> and it just reminded me of the fact that there are so many people out there who are in relationships where they're not comfortable doing certain things or they're not open enough to do certain things or they feel shy about bringing certain things to their partner and wanting to try different things with their partner. I've literally had emails and messages from both guys and girls who say they're unhappy sexually in their relationship because either their partner refuses to do something or their partner refuses to talk about something or try something or whatever it is. And I think it's just so sad because if you choose to be with this person, spend the rest of your life with this person, you should be able to open up and talk about anything, do anything, either agree, disagree, whatever, together on the same thing. Try it at least one time. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If it's something that is just morally unacceptable in your eyes, then let your person know that and then go from there. You know, if it's something that will make or break your relationship, that's something that needs to be talked about. And I'm not everybody's into everything and that is fine that is completely fine but when it comes to biting booty cheeks eating ass licking pussy and what was the other one there was another there was something else sucking toes i don't think those are like out of the box things even if it's happening like once a week like it so what y'all do just regular missionary and doggy style like that's all y'all doing in your house like she can suck your dick but you're not gonna eat her pussy like that makes sense to you that seems fair to you and ladies if that is how your relationship is you might want to reconsider certain things and sure we did talk about something similar to this already sure not earl not <laughs> uh, girls like being eaten out but it is something different you know it is something that I feel like is required at certain times in the bedroom like you don't have to eat her out every single time but it's a nice little sample before the main course it's like <laughs> eating vagina is like the appetizer you know you, you, it just should be done some of the times I mean you go to you don't always get appetizer or samplers but you know it's nice to treat yourself now and then Sometimes you're just extra hungry and you get it. You feel me? So, <laughs> if you're unsatisfied or unhappy in your bedroom, you need to talk to your partner about it. And I can't stress that enough. And yes, communication is key, but so is comprehension. Because no matter how much you will preach and harp on what you like and dislike, if your partner doesn't understand that, then nothing will ever change. 
and that is something that you know you just learn over time comprehension and communication go hand in hand I think that's all I wanted to say today. If you guys feel differently, comment down below. If you feel the same, comment down below. Make sure you like this video and share it with your friends so that they can comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face. Bye.